Hi, this is Derek C. Moss, Professor of English and Interdisciplinary Studies at SUNY Potsdam. Welcome to A Deeper Dive into African American Literature, a daily series of short podcasts produced in conjunction with SUNY Potsdam's Celebration of Black History Month in 2021. Each day this February, we'll be looking at and listening to the work of an African American writer whose name may not be as familiar as Frederick Douglass, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, or Toni Morrison. But these writers' contributions help give us a much fuller picture of Black artists' roles in shaping American culture. Episode 22, Kevin Young. Since his days as a Harvard undergraduate in the late 1980s, Kevin Young has been at the forefront of a younger generation that has transformed and reinvigorated the state of African American poetry. Alongside Sharon Strange, Thomas Sayers Ellis, Major Jackson, Natasha Trethewey, Tracy K. Smith, and Carl Phillips, Young was an instrumental figure in the Darkroom Collective, a group of African American writers based in Boston who worked tirelessly to increase the visibility and broaden the scope of black poetry in the 1990s. Since 1995, Young has published 11 books of poetry, edited numerous collections of other poets' verse, and written two books of cultural history. He taught creative writing at a number of colleges and universities, but in recent years he has shifted more towards curatorial and editorial work. After stints as the director of the Schomburg Center in Harlem and as poetry editor for the New Yorker magazine, he began a new job as director of the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington in January of 2021. Now let's watch and listen to Young reading his poem, Ode to Gumbo. It originally appeared in his 2008 collection, Dear Darkness, and was part of his efforts to transcend his grief at the loss of his father. Okay, Ode to Gumbo. For weeks, I have waited for a day without death or doubt. Instead, the sky set a fire or the flood filling my face. A stubborn drain nothing can fix. Every day, death. Every morning, death. And every night and evening and each hour a kind of winter. All weather is unkind. Too hot or cold that creeps the bones. Father, your face, a faith I can no longer see. Across the street, a dying yet still standing tree. So why not make a soup of what's left? Why not boil and chop something outside the mind? Let us welcome winter for a few hours, even in summer. Some say gumbo starts with filet or with roux, begins with flour and water, making sure not to burn. I know gumbo starts with sorrow, with hands that cannot wait but must, with okra and a slow boil and things that cannot be taught like grace. Done right, gumbo lasts for days. Done right, it will feed you and not let go. Like grief, you can eat and eat and still plenty left. Food of the saints, gumbo will outlast even us. Like pity, you will curse it and still hope for the wing of chicken bobbed up from below. Like God, gumbo is hard to get right and I don't bother asking for it outside my mother's house. Like life, there's no one way to do it and a hundred ways from here to Sunday to get it dead wrong. Save all the songs. I know none, even this, that will bring a father back to his son. Blood is thicker than water under any bridge and gumbo thicker than that. It was my father's mother who taught mine how to stir its dark mirror. Now it is me who wishes to plumb its secret depths. Black angel, Madonna of the shadows, Hail Mary strong and dark as dirt. Gumbo scent fills this house like silence and tells me everything has an afterlife given enough time and the right touch. You need okra 
sausage, bones of a bird, an entire onion cut open and wept over, stirring cayenne in till the end burns the throat, till we can amen and pretend such fiery mercy is all we know. Thanks. For more information about Young and his work, click on the link above to visit his personal website. Check back tomorrow at the link at the bottom of the screen for another episode of A Deeper Dive into African American Literature. While you're there, you'll be able to find links to all of the previous episodes in the series, as well as links to booksellers from whom you can purchase these authors' works. And please, if you've enjoyed this series so far, help us spread the word. Thanks and gratitude go out to Clifton Harkham, Jason Hunter, and Alex Jacobs Wilkie at SUNY Potsdam, as well as to David Summerstein and Bonnie North at North Country Public Radio. Thank you.